welcome 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 back since we got a lot of people starting to wake up this message came through that i want to send out to you today lovely souls many are called chosen but only love will rise i want to spread truth and clarity today and i also just explain a little bit about how you can easily get caught up in spiritual traps that i want to share here with you today real quick stay tuned to the end i'm gonna pull two cards from two different decks for you to give you the clarity and information that you've been seeking for as well as the confirmation as humans we crave connection we come onto this planet we crave connection and we avoid the rejection we want to be a part of something greater so when we hear any type of labels like chosen ones it really starts to feed our ego it labels of any any can easily feed your ego and create a trap for yourself that's why i really don't do well with labels anymore and i really just like to be me because it creates too much pressure or it also can easily feed the ego and make you think you better than other people the truth is you are a part of something greater your path of self-discovery and self-development is what will take you there you know also that's coming through right now it's like as humans look how the way the way we've treated each other from centuries and times and times and times again till now look how much look at the things that we've done to each other as humans and then we easily can, can keep doing this unconsciously and not aware of what we doing when the whole time we are all one you see we know each other soul to soul but our body just don't know each other right we're in different bodies and stuff but our soul to soul we know each other we are all one and the world there's some type of energy here that wants to keep us separated because we are greater in numbers and this is what labels can do i'm this you're that what's your background this is my background i do that you do this it can easily cause this in your life so be careful with labels ego loves temporary feel good that do not last but will have you go back for more because you want to feel something because you've been numb for so long you've been misunderstood mistreated and you just want something to make this go away or help you feel better so as we travel on our journey we can easily get caught up in these spiritual traps that are um, our ego latches on to attaches to because we want to uh, automatically feel better than what we are feeling or or we may feel that someone actually understands what we experience or what we have experienced or what we may be going through and that's all fine and dandy but we don't want to put our focus on that area we don't want to focus on that because what you focus on grows what you put your attention on grows because energy flows where you focus at and it will enter your reality you will be creating this life for yourself even if you wasn't seeing it you will start to see it in your own reality what you pay attention to what you give your attention to is your energy lovely souls i literally used to participate in uh, a lot of ego stuff and i actually started to see it in my reality i started to feel that people were beneath me i started to think i was better than everybody else and all those things that i did not want to feel that it didn't match my heart so i had to make these changes right and i had to keep moving down my path instead of spiritual bypassing like trying to get off the path and basically not do no more work and just and just stay there basically it's kind of what it is before we go in deeper welcome to the channel i'm miss kelly travel spirit and i'm so grateful to have you here lovely souls if you are newly awakening just know it's all working for you lovely soul i know things are tearing down and falling apart but it's all because it's built not stable it's not built from your truth it's not built from who you truly are so never give up on yourself and and know that you are stronger you you are stronger than you may think and you are tough even though life might get tough you are tough lovely soul and you can get through anything never give up on yourself and that message take it how it resonates to each and every one of you out there lovely souls okay so yeah this is just spreading awareness so that you can be mindful of any type of um ego traps that you can actually fall fall into on your path and tread slowly with labels tread slowly with labels because then it, like i said it puts a lot of pressure on you as well one car is spirit for the lovely souls here today what is it that you want them to know most right now spirit one card one accurate message these are chakra cards so let's say this card is seventh chakra crown chakra spiritual awareness when my mind sways negatively i remind myself of love truth gratitude and spirit i am the observer of my thoughts and i do not let them bring me down i remind myself to have gratitude and acceptance for what is and to have the courage of my convictions i continually pursue a clear understanding of spiritual truths behind all that is and all that is and un all that is unfolding i ask myself is what i'm thinking the truth and is it having a positive or negative impact on my life there you go right there lovely soul question that 
question that right now. Always question that with all information that you're receiving as well as your thoughts. Is this having a positive impact or negative impact on my life? Be very mindful of that. Okay, lovely soul? It actually matches exactly what I'm saying because that's exactly what will start to happen. For some time now in the conscious chosen community, there's this belief that being chosen is better. That if you're not chosen, that if you're chosen... You automatically doing the right thing. Like you can't mess up. Like you will always be doing things right. That uh, everyone comes for the chosen. And even once before, basically, for lack of better terms, someone basically said that. Uh, I said something on my video, and they basically said chosen ones are perfect. Oh, chosen ones don't do that. We don't do that. And I'm thinking, shit. Uh, and me as a chosen one, I literally been through a whole lot of darkness. I've been through a whole lot of shit. You feel me? Even just calling myself chosen wasn't even easy because I didn't understand how could I have been chosen if I had to go through all this stuff. You feel me? But you got people who actually feel that being chosen means that you're perfect and they tie onto this label to have like feel some sense of self, to actually feel something to be, to feel a part of something, a group or somebody or something of that nature. Okay. So I have fell into this trap myself before in a really strange way. And every day I was just waiting for things to get better and thinking that someone was going to come save me from the BS I was experiencing. I was totally focused on negativity and what people do to me and so on. And all along, that was a spiritual ego trap is what I call it. Being blinded by too much light, avoiding the darkness, avoiding the work, avoiding the shadow, thinking that you are already done, you already made it, you only got nothing else to learn. This will never work. You see, what I learned is I had everything I needed inside of me to make the correct changes to change myself and my energy, which would change my life. The waiting game is exactly that. It's waiting. And you can spend your whole life waiting. Or you can step up and make the changes within you. You see, chosen ones walk the middle ground, balance, balancing out dark and light energies. Chosen ones experience a tough life because they are strong and their soul chose this life so you can learn, which you will then alchemize and turn into your passions, purpose, mission, and power. You cannot learn from light alone. It will only blind you or make you delusion, delusional or start to hallucinate. Now the doctor, disclaimer, disclaimer, you heard? We must all raise our vibrations and open up our hearts. Vulnerability is strength and only love will rise. It doesn't have nothing to do with labels, lovely soul. Even if you're chosen and you have not yet done the work, then you will not rise. It's all about love at the end of the day, lovely soul. Love will rise. The rest is honestly just labels. So just be, do you, and focus on what you want to change and see in your life. And don't focus on the things that you cannot change. If you understand what I'm saying, right? there today lovely so that basically clarifies all of what i'm saying so be careful with labels out here whether you see yourself as a chosen one or not at the end of the day follow the path follow your path to self-discovery follow your path to figuring and remembering out who you are and learning the lessons see on my paths what i learned on my journey is that what I thought I was ready for, I wasn't ready for. I, I, I'm always getting ready for that. You feel me? Because it's everything that already exists, right? So therefore, all I'm doing is letting go and raising up my vibration to match what is coming into my life next. You feel me? It's all about letting go. It's all about raising that vibration. And those who will rise will be those who have their heart open and speaking and operating from a place of love, understanding the oneness, the wholeness, togetherness, and that we are not separate, that we are all one. Those are the ones who will rise, lovely soul, and create their own heaven on earth because the earth is here right now. But many might not even see it, though. They might not even know that it exists. It's silently in the background, but many are beginning to awaken to it right now. You feel me? Let me get you one card, lovely soul, to take with you to tie it together. One card, spirit, to tie together this message that you have for, that I've delivered for to these lovely souls today. Tongue tied. One accurate message, Spirit, to give to the lovely souls here today. What do you want them to know most right now? One card, Spirit. Hmm. See this from a higher perspective. You see what I'm saying? 
You see what I'm saying? See it from a higher respect, a higher perspective. Let me give you more information on what this is connected to and give you more clarity because you got to see this from a higher perspective, lovely soul, which means keep moving, keep moving forward, keep moving through it, right? Once you move through something, you will be able to then be able to shine your light on it and get clarity and get truth and get understanding. I feel like many of you already been questioning this. Many of you been confused about this and many of you been noticing this, but didn't really know uh, if you was tripping or uh, if this is the way it is or whatever or whatnot. And you might, many of you, let me know down below in the comment section, might even been caught up in this type of stuff and it's kept you stuck for a long time. Again, these people, they may not be, um, their intentions may not be ill and some could be. You know, at the end of the day, that's up to you to use your own discernment. But what I'm saying is just where they are. So you can easily grow past them. So it's, it's always important to like, really trust yourself and really go within yourself and um and see things from a higher perspective and this is is called this card literally is connected to i actually pulled up the wrong thing so let me see see it from my, it's to know see your discernment like i said this is connected to knowing and let me give you the clarity thank you for staying tuned and to know is the crown chakra and this is found at the top of your head and is visualized as a blooming lotus it's space that governs the brain intelligence and connection to the divine in the sanskrit it is known as the shashara thousand petal i could have messed that up given the impression that it has the potential to open and bloom energetically it governs our personal connection to the divine in fact through its activation we are able to have a direct experience of the divine absolutely this chakra goes beyond the elements as it is more of an expression of the presence essence and light that moves through life itself the crown cards are about connecting with wisdom and embodying certain ways of knowing in order to establish and nurture our divine connection the messages of these cards encourage us to align with the higher way of being, moving beyond the limiting human behaviors of lack and competition, and into trusting that there is enough for everyone and that we are here for reasons beyond vanity and material gain. These cards encourage us to see that we are all one, and how we are connecting with other people is how we are connecting with ourselves. Oh, spirit in the building, you heard? Let me give you some more, okay? When this card comes to you, you are in a crucial energy space where you have the real opportunity to move beyond the limitations of your ego and any selfish desires. Today, the universe is coming in and offering you a higher perspective. The time to pivot to the time to pivot in your soul's evolution for you are learning about your gifts, but also being confronted by your ego and weaknesses. Limiting old belief, limiting old ideals will be telling you that there's not enough for everyone, that if you don't fight, you won't succeed. And that if you don't push, you'll never get what you want. There's also a good chance that an old story is revisiting you, but isn't, but this isn't because you are taking backward steps. It's to remind you how far you have come. That's happening. You're getting that clarity. You are seeing things that you've overcome. You are seeing things that you have moved out of. You are seeing things you used to react to. You are seeing these things looking at them like, wow, because you moved out of it. That's a message for some of you out there. Okay. This is your chance to take the higher road. Know that you deserve abundance and there is enough to go around. Know that the universe is leading you to your greatest good because good things happen to good people and you are good. Proven now by doing, doing everything with love and respect. Vibe of the day. I choose to have the high, I choose to take the high road to my greatest good. You see what I'm talking about right there? Lovely soul. That confirms and ties the message together right now. See it from a higher perspective. Lovely so we are all one if you found messages here clarity here confirmation deep insight baby okay even if some love you felt coming from me sharing with you today hit that like button so we can get this message out to my lovely souls like yourself share this video so we can get this message out lovely souls and don't forget to follow me on instagram at miss kelly travel spiritually you heard and if you're feeling the vibes and you can take the truth and the realness you feel me hey hit that subscribe button and that bell so i can continue so you can get all the newest videos that i drop i want to say somebody out there need to speak up because i'm being really really tongue-tied don't let fear stop you lovely soul push through the fear because on the other side is love you heard peace love and light come back to see me